I think it's important for kids to vote because when they hit that voting mark, which is 18, they will go out and they will make their voice be heard. And they've learned from a young age that, you know, that's possible. It is very important for kids to have the opportunity to participate in current elections in, during their K-12 experience. Um, one of the reasons it's so important is that it prepares them for future civic engagement. And that will only um, lead to them being further engaged as adults. Well, I think one of the things that makes kids voting effective in terms of developing our youth as citizens is the fact that they get to use the power they have as active citizens right away. They don't have to wait until they're 18 or until they can vote, but we're really letting them know that the power that they have as themselves, as a student, whether you're a six-year-old, whether you're a 13-year-old, whether you're a 17-year-old, you can use that now. Well, I think it's very important to hear um, young people's voices, uh, kids voting. Um, it's been around for a long time. I wasn't um, part of the when it started, but I know how important it is to have to hear kids' voices for us as elected officials to know what's important to them. Additionally, uh, an engaged child often has the um, has the capability of engaging their parents or engaging their families in these conversations. So as we're teaching kids these civic engagement skills, they're also engaging their families and encouraging voter participation in, within their families also. So it's very important that kids um, have these opportunities as, um, at very young ages. To um, help our young people understand local government better, but beyond that, empower them to be involved. And I guess the trademark um, e event would be the elections that actually take place in schools where um, voting booths are set up in schools and at local polling places where kids can uh, complete their ballots, submit those, have those votes tallied and documented, published in newspapers to let people in Durham know how the kids actually would have voted in different elections. When I invited kids to vote, they were actually surprised because they didn't know that their voice counted. And well, they were actually more stoked about the stickers at the end, but you know, that's what made them vote. So yeah, I was happy that they were, you know, smiling because they were like, oh, they're gonna know that I voted and my parents will know. And that actually brought out more parents to vote in the November elections. And their excitement, I don't think you ever lose that excitement that they get just from that voting experience. So I believe that probably translates into some long-term voting behavior. And we've seen some research that indicates that. It's become way more than just voting. And I've been so pleased and proud to watch Cooperative Extension work actively with our young people to get them engaged and empowered to provide leadership. So they're putting together kids voting guides and um, doing the candidates forums. So there's a candidate resource guide that Kids Voting um, creates, which is also facilitated by kids. And, and that, I will say that's pretty popular K-12. One of the things that we often see with high school students um, is not only um, utilizing those guides for, you know, the kids voting elections, but for some of the seniors being able to use those resources for actual elections when they're able to actually cast ballots. As, as I vote as an adult, um, I feel, um, feel kind of great to um, know who I vote and, and know who's the, the right person that I can vote for. And I, I kind of feel great. <laughs> Another, I mean, the phenomenal thing about this is, I mean, this is free. These are resources that are provided to the schools for free. Kids voting, I have to say, is one of the most cost-effective programs I've ever experienced personally or professionally. Um, we serve all Durham's children in all of Durham's schools, and they have the opportunity to cast an individual vote and receive education through their teachers and through some of the wonderful things we do with candidate guides and candidate forums and all at a cost of around a dollar per student. There aren't many programs that can really engage students in such an in-depth way 
um, and give them a variety of opportunities that can also incorporate involvement with their families at such a low cost. I mean, everybody has the right to vote. I mean, it's yeah, not everybody uses it, but you know, it's it's a it's a great opportunity to change the you know the government who who you want to elect and and do the right thing for um, your your family or your kid or anybody. <laughs>